All right, everyone, here we are with ticker symbol PLUG, Plug Power Inc. And before I get started, I want to say welcome to all my first time viewers and investors. Welcome to Invest for Tomorrow. Hope you guys learned something new and find this helpful and informative. To all my subscribers, I want to say a special thank you to you all for always engaging in conversation with each other, keeping things transparent and holding the integrity of the community that we're forming here. And I want to say thank you for your guys' feedback always. So I really appreciate you guys. And it speaks in volumes of what we have built here and what we're going to continue to build amongst each other and commenting down below valid information for investors and viewers. So that is something I encourage and I appreciate a lot. Let's jump into this chart. So obviously this has had a run. Um, it went from $7 all the way to $9 and then the date of earnings, it shot up and that was today. And you can see the effect they had on it, but there was a slight set off. Um, I don't know if it's because today was Thursday and people are worried tomorrow's Friday and so forth. But for the most part, it's the end of the week or some people just felt comfortable taking profits. But whatever it was, for the most part, this is sell off. This isn't people shorting the stock or anything. This is just people taking profits now. It could harm the momentum. So these are the points of reference we want to look at. And the first thing is the 50-day moving average. The 50-day moving average is 967. As long as this stock stays above 967, it is in bullish territory. The bulls are going to want to break through 1147, which is the highest point of the day. If they can break through that, use it as support, they can continue the bullish run and break through new resistance levels. So that is important for the bulls. So they're gonna have to turn around and come hefty from where they're at at 1070 and bring this one back up. Now the support is literally one cent away from the closing price. It's, it's that, that close. Excuse me, no, that 1069, 1070 is the estimate difference of the closing price. It's actually 10 cents away, my bad. It's 1059, which is still pretty close. Excuse that error of mine there. But 1059 is still pretty close to the closing price. That's a, that's a very small difference. This is closer to support than to resistance. So the bulls have to come in hefty and strong to bring this one up. Now, if support is broken through, there is this window of space, right? That you can use to make a decision whether it's gonna look bullish or if the bears are starting to gain control. Because if it breaks through the support and it continues its way down and it even breaks through the 50 day moving average, well, Obviously, now it's in bearish territory. But if this support is broken through slightly, the bulls can take advantage of the price and bring this one back up. So those are one of the two scenarios. Either the bears continue to bring this to newer lows or the bulls decide to come on in and bring this from wherever it falls in this area and bring it back up before it falls below the 50-day moving average. So. The only concern though is if the bulls don't make much movement happen upwards, the 50 day moving average is going to continue to catch up to it. And the bears, it's going to be much easier for them to bring it down to bearish territory within the next day or two of trading days. So that is something to keep a close eye on. If that support is broken through, which is 1059, not 1069, excuse me for that one more time. And um, keep in mind the resistance level, 1147, and the 50-day moving average is 967. As always, if you guys learned something new, subscribe to my channel. Hit the like button for me to let me know you watched this video. And share this with your friends and community. Thank you so much for watching. Let's make some money.